Hi there, my name's Dan, and by trade I'm a digital marketer. One of the things which I thought would be really useful to do is to review some of the books that I've been reading recently. Some of them have loads to do with digital marketing, and some of them have nothing to do with digital marketing. But either way, I'd like to recommend them just for the fact that they're a good, interesting read, and hopefully they might help you with an aspect of your career. Up this month is Lost and Founder by Ran Fishkin, a painfully honest guide to the startup world. Now it's going to take you through this book as to why it is so good, why it's such a good read for your career. So who is Ram Fishkin? Ram Fishkin is the founder of Moz, formerly known as SEO Moz, and both him and his mum originally created the business, and since then it has grown and grown and grown to be one of the world leading SEO tools. What the book goes through is, as the kind of title suggests, a painfully honest guide to all the highs and lows which Rad and the business has gone through as it has eventually come to be what it is today. Ram particularly as a personality is a particularly inspiring individual and someone who I'd love to be more like. Now, Awesome Founder takes you through the history of how Mars was created, literally from a spare room and developing that into a multi-million dollar business that dominates the SEO industry. Now, Lost and Founder isn't a rags to riches story which fits in with the overall Silicon Valley narrative where everyone just goes in and makes millions and millions of dollars overnight. This book goes into it an intense level of detail about the nuances of how Mars came to be. And to be honest, a lot of them are not good. There are just as many lows in there as there are highs. The great thing is, is that Moz is now a fantastic business. They've raised huge amounts of money in terms of VC funding. They employ huge teams of people and they're internationally known across the world. In order to be able to get to that stage, there has been a lot of problems and issues along the way. Now, on a business level, that's just the frustrations of that VC funding drying up, going into massive amounts of debt and having to make really difficult business decisions like making people redundant in order to be able to save the business. What I particularly love about Lost and Founder is the fact that it dispels a lot of the myths that it is just just so easy in order to be able to do it. There are a lot of hard decisions, and in particular, the hard decisions that an individual has to make. So often we have to just look at a company as a brand and not really understand that the people and the pain and the stress that goes on behind it. Ran goes into quite a lot of detail within the book about how the process of creating Moth has affected his mental health and which in turn has affected his relationships. Now, that's something which is so rarely seen within the marketing industry as a whole. So although a lot of the experiences I can't directly relate to. Incredibly good to see that there are people opening up and giving an honest account of what it is like to both set up and run a business. Now, Lost and Founder has a potentially very broad audience as to people who might be interested in this kind of thing. Now, I'm not sitting here reading Lost and Founder as a way of trying to understand how I'm going to create my own software business or how I'm going to gain VC funding. In me, it was just useful to understand some of the similar problems that business owners do face, in, especially in those early days. It also just acts as a really nice validation because Ryan goes into quite a lot of detail about how digital marketing as a tool functions and how Moz have utilized that as a way of getting their own business in. So there's a lot of useful nuggets in there, particularly for anyone who wants to progress their career in the marketing world. Therefore, some of the areas aren't gonna be as relevant to certain people, but there are definitely gonna be chapters in there which apply to an awful lot of people. Since then, and for a variety of different reasons which Rand goes through in the book, Rand has down left Moz, although he is a shareholder, and has gone and created a separate software business called Spark Toro. If this hasn't convinced you just yet to read the book, then I will put some links in the box below to Rand's blog and a few examples of his content which I absolutely love. He's a fantastic speaker both online and offline so if there's anything you're unsure about in the world of digital marketing then he's a great authority to be able to learn from. That's the fact he's just a really nice guy. So I highly highly recommend that you give this a read. It's a nice quick easy read and give you a lot of useful information. If you're interested in buying a copy I will stick a link in the box below which will take you through to Rand's website and you can find out more information about him there. It's still early days for me in terms of being able to create these book reviews so if you like them please give it a thumbs up because it really helps things and if there's any books that you'd like to recommend to me then make sure you stick them in the comments below. I'm thinking of doing more of these video book reviews so I should be back sometime in the near future with another book as good as Lost and Founder to have the read through. Catch you then.